In our timeline, the moon is a gentle shepherd of the tides, pulling our oceans with a steady, predictable hand. But gravity is a variable, not a constant. We adjusted the simulation parameters. We moved the moon 50% closer to Earth during the late Cretaceous. The result isn't just higher water. It is a planet that breathes. Welcome to the era of the Megatide. Here, the ocean doesn't stop at the beach. It sweeps hundreds of miles inland twice a day. Life has split into two distinct phases, the submerge and the scavenge. These tidal titans do not migrate to escape the flood. They anchor. They have evolved into living breakwaters, waiting for the moon to release its grip. And when the tide falls, the feast begins. The receding water leaves behind millions of tons of trapped marine biomass. The predators here are not hunters. They are opportunists. In this simulation, the boundary between land and sea has been erased. Evolution here does not favor the fastest runner, but the creature with the patience to hold its breath while the world drowns. It is a violent rhythm, but life keeps the beat.